all right you are welcome again today let's consider this question show that the equation is exact and solve we have x dy dx plus 3x plus y equal to 0 here we are asked to show that this equation is exact and after that we are to solve this please pay attention i will explain it in a way that you will understand and when next you come across exact equation in a differential equation you will know exactly what to do all right now follow me gradually let's go when we are talking about exact equation what do we mean in case you've forgotten let me remind you we said that assuming we have a function u of x and y and this function u when we differentiate it partially with respect to x you know we are going to come up with another function now let's call this function m and when you differentiate this function again partially with respect to y we are also going to come up with another function now let's call this second function n okay now the sum of these partial derivatives we are going to have du is equal to m of x comma y dx plus n of x comma y dy equal to zero you know this is also called a differential equation we say that this differential equation is exact if the partial derivative of m with respect to y is equal to the partial derivative of n with respect to x hello if the partial derivative of m with respect to y is equal to the partial derivative of n with respect to x so if these two partial derivatives are equal we say that the equation that these two functions are coming from they are called or it is called an exact equation okay now let's go given that this partial these two partial derivatives are continuous function of x and y now let's go the question that is given to us we have x dy dx plus 3x plus y is equal to zero we are asked to show that this equation is exact and we have to solve it you get right now you know the first thing we're supposed to do is to identify the part that is having dx and also the part that is having dy so the part that is having the x we call it m and the part that is having the y we call it n but in this case we cannot see it the only thing we see is the y the x so what do we do we multiply through by the x hello we multiply through by what by the x so that means you are going to have x dy dx multiplied by the x plus 3x multiplied by dx plus y multiplied by dx equal to zero so what do we have we're going to have x dy plus 3x plus y in bracket dx because you know here we have 3x multiplied by dx plus y multiplied by dx so there is dx in 3x and dx in y so we factor out the dx so here we have 3x plus y in bracket dx equal to 0. So here now, we can decide to rearrange our equation. So if we rearrange our equation, we are going to have 3x plus y in bracket dx plus x dy equal to 0. So from here, I think it's very easy for us to identify a u a dx part and dy part okay so here now the part that is having dx is 3x plus y so we say that this part is 
n. We say that n is equal to 3x plus y. And then also the part that is having the y, we call it n. So here we say that n is equal to x. Hello. Now let's go. Here we have m is equal to 3x plus y. And then we also have n is equal to x. So when we differentiate this m partially with respect to y, what are we going to have? Differentiating partially with respect to y, you know, this 3x is a constant. We differentiate only y. So differentiating only y gives us 1. So the partial derivative of m with respect to y is equal to 1. And then going to n, we differentiate n partially with respect to x. So differentiating n partially with respect to x is going to give us 1. So here, the partial derivative of m with respect to y is equal to the partial derivative of n with respect to x equal to 1. Hence, the equation is exact. Hence, the equation is what? Is exact. Now, let's go. How can we solve this? We want to solve this. We have shown that the equation is exact. Let's go for the and solve. Now, let's go. We have 3x plus y in bracket dx plus x dy equal to 0. So, we want to solve this differential equation. Now, let's go. We're going to see now let u of x comma y be a function such that the partial derivative of this function u with respect to x will give us m. And the partial derivative of this function u with respect to y will give us n. Then the partial derivative of u with respect to x giving us m. And what do we say that m is? We say that m is 3x plus y. Let's call this equation 1. Again, we say let uh, the partial derivative of u with respect to y, let it give us n. And what do we say that n is? Uh, n is x. So let's call this equation 2. Now let's go. Here, we are looking for a function u of x comma y. Such that when we find the partial derivative of this u with respect to x, is going to give us 3x plus y. And when we find the partial derivative of this function u with respect to y, is going to give us x. What is that function? That is what we are looking for. So here, we can choose any of the two equations and find the function. We can choose any of the equations and do what? Find the function. Now, let's go. Here, we're going to pick equation 2. We're going to use only equation 2 to find the function. Now, in equation 2, we have the partial derivative of u with respect to y is equal to x. You know, I just said that we are looking for u of x comma y such that when we differentiate this function u partially with x, we have equation 1. And we will differentiate it partially with respect to y. We have equation 2. You get right? Now, and then here we have the partial derivative of u with respect to y equal to x. So that means you are going to remove this partial derivative in this equation 2. Then we will have our u. Because we are looking for u. Hello. We are going to take away the partial derivative. In this equation 2, when we take away the partial derivative, that means we are going to have u. You remember we are looking for u. Is that true? Yes. Now, let's go. That means we are going to integrate this equation 2 with respect to dy. It was differentiated with respect to y. So, for us to take away the differentiation with respect to y, we integrate it also with respect to y. Now, let's go. That means we're going to have the integral of the partial derivative of u with respect to y dy equal to the integral of x 
dy. Okay, so when we take the integral of the left hand side, it is only going to take away the derivatives and give us only the function u. And then in the right hand side, when we integrate x with respect to y, you know, x here we can say is a is a what is a constant. And when you if, and when you integrate a constant, it introduces that what that function, that variable that you are integrating. You get right? So that means here we're going to have x y plus t of x. So now, you know we are looking for u, and we have found u successfully here. We say that u is equal to x y plus t of x, but we don't know what t of x is. Hello. We don't know what t of x is. So the work we are going to do now is to find what this t of x is. So if we can find this t of x, our work is done. You get right? So now let's go further and find this uh, t of x. So what we are going to do is we are going to differentiate this equation 3. You know we call it equation 3, right? We are going to differentiate this u. Partially with respect to x. Why do we differentiate it partially with respect to x? Because we are looking for t of x. Hello? Because we are looking for what? t of x. We walk towards what we are looking for. So we have the u is equal to x, y plus t of x. But we don't know what is t of x. So we differentiate partially with respect to x in order to find t of x x all right good now let's go so when we differentiate this u partially with respect to x what will it give us you know we have x y so when we differentiate with respect to x it's going to give us y plus then the t of x is going to give us t prime of x to show that it is in a derivative form you know we don't have the real value of t of x so we just tell that this t of x is now in a derivative form. You get it, right? Now let's call this equation 4. Now let's continue. Let's go back to equation 1. What do we have in our equation 1? Our equation 1 says that the partial derivative of u with respect to x is equal to 3x plus y. And then what do we have now? We said that the partial derivative of u with respect to x is equal to y plus t prime of x. E. Comparing these two equations, what do you see? Comparing the two equations, you can simply see that t prime of x is equal to 3x. Hello. Now, comparing these two equations, you see that t prime of x is what? 3x but you remember that we are looking for t of x not t prime of x so now you know our work is getting easier because initially we are looking for t of x but now we have found t of x but t of x is in a derivative form so what we do is we take away the derivative so how can we take away the derivative by integrating so what we do is we integrate with respect to x so that means we're going to have the integral of t prime of x dx equal to the integral of 3x dx so when we integrate this t prime of x it will just take away the derivatives just give us a function that we're looking for which is what t of x and then when we integrate 3x with respect to x it's going to give us 3 all over 2 x squared then we have plus c. Hello. So when we integrate, we have 3 all over 2 x squared plus c. Let's call this equation 6. Here, we have found our t of x. Now let's go back to equation 3. We are now happy that we found what we are looking for. Now let's go back to equation 3, where we have our u. And t of x is missing there. So equation 3 says u is equal to x y plus t of x now in equation 6 we know what t of x is so we substitute equation 6 into equation 3 
So substituting, here we have u is equal to xy plus 3 all over 2 x squared plus c. Hello. Yes, this is our u. Now, you know, initially I told you we are looking for a function u such that when you differentiate this function partially with respect to x, it's going to give you 3x plus y. Is that true? Yes. And then this same function, when you differentiate it partially with respect to y, it's going to give you x. Now here, the function we have u, let's try it. If when we differentiate this uh, function with respect partially with respect to x, and partially with respect to y, whether it will give us our uh, equation 1 and 2. Now, let's go. Now, let's go. We have u is equal to x, y plus 3 all over 2, x squared plus c. Let's differentiate this partially with respect to x. When we differentiate x, y with respect to x, it's going to give us what? y. And when we differentiate 3 all over 2, x squared with respect to x, it's going to give us what? 3x. When we differentiate c, c is a constant, it's going to give us 0. So here we have the partial derivative of u with respect to x is equal to y plus 3x, which is the same as our equation 1. We say 3x plus y. All right? Good. Now let's go again. The partial derivative of this u with respect to y. So in x, y, when we differentiate it with, with respect to y, what do we have? We're going to have x. And then 3 all over 2x squared. When we differentiate it partially with respect to y. You know, here, there is no y variable. So autom automatically, it is what? It is a constant and it gives us 0. And then c also is a constant. It gives us 0. So therefore, the partial derivative of u with respect to y is equal to x. This is exactly how to solve exact equation in differential equation. I hope you understand this very well. Please go through it and listen to it with more attentiveness. All right. Yes. Thank you very much for watching. Please, if you are new to our YouTube channel, please do us a favor. Click the subscribe button, like and share our videos. Stay blessed. Let's take more examples.